welcome guys uh, so in this video we are, we want to prove that the, the converse of the home service cannot exist well, maybe the color is not not not, not good okay so uh, let's quickly uh, tell the just we call it home white home service right so home service that people want to that the uh, y equals one over x or basically f of x is one of x and uh, do a rotation so do a rotation from one to that say infinity right so there is a rotation and then the claim is that uh, the claim is that this service s right the volume of s is finite but the area the service area of s is infinity Okay, and the proof that you can go back to see my previous video, and the proof is very simple. Uh, let's quickly recall. So the volume will proportional to one over x squared dx, which from one to infinity will be bounded, right? Because this is exactly this one. So it will be just one. Proportional to constant, uh, there's a pi here. So actually it's pi. And the area is basically like uh, the two pi, uh, one over x, and the one that the root differentiation respect one over x, so it's this square dx right so basically from 1 over 8 we're less than 2 pi 1 over x dx 1 over 8 so it's 2 pi long a right blows up as a goes to infinity okay so uh in this video uh, we we are just trying to uh, give a very simple proof that the converse of it cannot exist so let me explain what right converse theorem is that if i take f is basically from what zero to infinity map to zero to infinity so basically f is just some positive function look like this and then start from one and do the uh do the what do the revolution okay and f is continuous differentiable basically f prime is this so then uh if the so let's say the converse does not exist it means that if the volume if the area is finite then the volume must be finite. Okay. Okay. So this is the theorem, right? So that means there's no such case that the uh, area, the converse is it. So converse means that uh, uh, the volume is finite. Uh, the volume is uh, infinity, but surface area is finite. So there's no way. Okay. So the proof is very, the proof is very simple, right? So. Uh, the proof is that basically the first thing is that the uh, f should be bounded should be bounded so f should be less than m for all uh, x 1 to m infinity and the reason is that uh, i mean you can think if f is non bounded right if f is non bounded the area cannot be bounded okay because when x goes to infinity then f of x cannot uh be fine uh, cannot be less than zero then the uh, this area s will be blows up so we so from this area finite then we can we can get that f should be bounded so now we can compute the volume so the volume is basically pi right one from infinity f of x uh square dx okay and uh is this is less than let's say f right one to infinity let's take two f Right. so one f is less than let's say f right so that's we can i divide it uh i divide two right two here okay so let's say this is less than m divided by two one to infinity two pi f of x dx right i i just change it to two pi because i want to prove that it's suppressed by the uh, area okay so maybe we change the color so it's m over n two right so this is one to infinity less than two pi f one plus f prime of x squared dx right it's less than it because uh this is positive term right and there's a there's a square term here okay so uh, what is this right this is area right so it's m divided by two a right so this shows if a is finite so this is area of let's say area of s right if area of s is finite then uh, which bounded this volume right volume is fine right. so there's no uh, converse of the home service exists 
uh i think that's the proof and i will see you guys in the next videos uh i don't know what's a good topic for next videos but uh hopefully you guys learn something